another episode. Today we are headed off in the Tumbler Ridge direction. Yeah, it's going to be the first hunt of the 2022 fall season, so we're excited. We're going to see what happens. It's going to be a fun time. We're supposed to get good weather. Hopefully we can get past the Devil's Club and get up to the Alpine. <laughs> We have no idea. We, there's no trails going into where we're headed. It's just bush, so this could be fun. Like I'm sure a lot of you guys are. It's always exciting when the first hunt comes around for the year. All I know is a spotting a mountain goat should be easier than stone sheep. within an hour from where we're gonna hunt. So, starting to rain a little bit. We just lost a cooler on the highway. <laughs> so we had to re-secure that. Other than that, we're just onward and upward. Officially left the truck on the hike in to goat country. Oh, I'm should, officially out of tree. Should be a good hunt. Good morning from goat country. Got some goats spotted. Pretty exciting. Well, we're getting some sun on our goats up here. We've got four goats up in this vicinity. Look at the scenery, guys. Amazing. Beautiful morning. Well, it's a quarter to ten. Still making our way up to Alpine. Doing pretty good. A lot of bushwhacking the last couple of kilometers, but we're finally starting to break into the open, looks like. Goat hunting's about to really begin. We're just about to the very top, or at least to Alpine. And we'll stop and look at the view and and we'll be looking for those goats. It's been a grind though. Lots of blowdown and devil's club and then now it's kind of opened up a bit, but it's just steep. Uh, so it's a bit hard on the butt cheeks, but. Glutes, breaking. Her, yeah. Over my shoulder here is where our goats are at. From what we've seen, likely a group of nannies and kids, but there is one, at least one, at least that we've seen to this point that's potentially a billy. So we're gonna get in a little bit closer and get a better look. Pretty nice up here. We started this morning at about 3,000 feet in elevation we're up to 5300 right now and the top of this mountain is at 6300 so it's gonna be a bit of a climb yet but we're a good a good part of the way at least out of the uh, timber and into the alpine now so that's always nice what do you think of the hike so far I'm not a mountain goat <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little out of shape but <laughs> it's getting better that's right We are above where the goats were last seen, probably six or seven hundred yards based on our 
guess the location of where they're at on iHunter maps. Another unfortunate turn of events is we just got actually a weather update and starting late tonight we got rain coming in so we got a little bit of deciding to do coming up the route that we came it was pretty steep and nasty had to do a little bit of climbing around in some rocks so we're thinking that we don't really want to do that part in the rain the joys of mountain hunting yeah you got two days to make it happen basically it's you're at the complete mercy of the weather totally yeah if you got a week or two you can at least wait wait a weather system out but hopefully this fog will burn off or whatever this cloud is. We were like literally what, 200 yards from the top here all of a sudden? Yeah. Fog started coming in, we're like, oh. We were just closing in and then it was like, whew, a big wall of clouds came in. Yeah. Oh boy. See that one just pee? He squatted forward and peed. Dude, he squatted forward. He's peeing right now? Yes, he's peeing. He squatted forward. I'm not kidding you. on an angle? No. Walk, look between his legs right there.
on him. Facing away from you. Just wait, wait, there's a kid right there. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, hit him there. Got him good. Yeah, he's done, man. He's done. I saw the bullet hole. Yep, yeah, you got him, man. Dude! That makes sense. Yeah. I was just so like. Like I saw him walk up, I didn't see nuts the first time. Because yeah, he he's rolling. I think he's shooting up in those trees there. I hope. I hope. Stop, buddy, stop. Nice shooting, buddy. That was how long did we <laughs> wait there for? Stressful. So we came <laughs> over and we saw the goat we just shot lay in there with a the kid. And we're both looking at that. We're like, man, that thing looks like a billy, but of course it has a kid there right beside it, so we're not gonna shoot. And so we waited. All of a sudden two other adult goats and three three kids stand stood up. And uh, it's so cold, the wind is ripping. Yeah. But three kids stood up, so there's like three adults, three kids. We're like, okay, it's you know, three nannies. And then, uh, then he peed and he did the stretch out thing. So stretch we're like, forward, oh. Yeah. And then he turned, and with his butt up more, and you could see he's plain as day. Yeah. We're like, all right, game on. I don't, I don't have any doubt. Yeah. Any Let's go check him out. Joel. Nice mountain goat. There's our Billy right there. There's the proof. They were a little sucked up because of the cold, but yeah. they're there all right. And that was a good spot, I think. Yeah. Oh my. It's the uh, first day of the hunt. Located this group of uh, goats from way the heck down at the bottom this morning they were kind of further down the mountain we figured they needed a closer look so we came all the way up through a, a devil's club choked hell hole and uh, got up to the top worked our way around just as we were slipping in we got fogged in but that ended up working to our advantage because we we snuck in perfect all of a sudden a big wind came and blew fog away and they were just sitting there yeah so Crazy. yeah beauty that is a that is a beautiful animal well there you have it ladies and gentlemen the goat killer goat down. got it done what a day man we had we experienced everything you know yeah everything like, in one day like we thought oh this isn't gonna go well and then all of a sudden, we're like, let's just go try to find where these goats are. But I tell you, Google Earth and iHunter preloaded maps, man. That that was a difference maker. Fortunately, we did have some cell service so we could get Google Earth. But that helped us locate where these goats were. There we go. 
Mountain goat tag punched. Nice. Now the fun begins. Yeah. Well, you know, it's been a good hunt when you uh, get to put away the big telephoto lens and do justice with the GoPro. Just waiting for our peak refuels to cook up and then it's marching time. Hiking, marching, hiking, marching, and more hiking. All pretty much downhill other than this little bit behind us. But I think, I think we've got a good game plan figured out. Slow and steady wins the race when you're packing meat. Load it up, head it out. I think if you go, I'd say just go up and then cross the ridge. Okay. Well, as you can tell, oh, it is windy. We are making our way back down the mountain. Descent into madness. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, we're grinding. We're trying to get out of here. Again. All right, I can't see anything now, but we are uh, hiking down through the woods, trying to get to our truck. Right through the heart of uh, grizzly country with meat on their backs. Yeah. How are you feeling? Oh man, I'm actually feeling really good. Decided we need a little fire break. Rejuvenate our spirits. Hey, Beth. Oh. Feeling like it, man. My turn. Oh, <clears throat> I can't believe we made it. On a scale of one to ten, I'd give that hunt a one. <laughs> Maybe even less. It Horrible. Was, it was surely you savage. Come here. We're gonna set up the tent and crash for the night. It is midnight. We've been going since what seven seven thirty a.m. We're done. See you in the morning. Thirty the next day. We had a good night's sleep. About a seven and a half hour sleep. We needed that bad. It felt good. Any of you that have hunted long enough, you know those hunts that the next day you're just in a mind space of never again, never again. And we'll see how long that feeling lasts. But I feel like it might last quite a long time. So no disrespect to the mountain goat. Pretty cool animals, pretty pretty fortunate here in BC to be able to hunt them. This time around was a limited entry hunt that we, we both drew and came on down here and got it done in one day. We were just looking at our hiking stats yesterday. 8,000 vertical feet of elevation change that it's climbing up and down. A lot of that was just thick, like what would be looking there. Oh yeah. Just a lot of it was like thick, gnarly, gnarly country. Good hunt, man. Yeah, that's where we came from, right there. Hope you have a great hunting season and a great fall. We'll catch you on the next one. See you next time. <laughs>